In this video, we'll look at how to find the atomic number for all of the elements here on the periodic table. And it's actually pretty easy. The atomic number, that's the number above the element symbol. For hydrogen, the atomic number is 1. Helium, it's 2. And you can see as we go across the rows, across the periods, 3, 4, we're just increasing by 1. If we look at sodium, the atomic number is 11. And only sodium will have the atomic number 11. That's unique to sodium. It's kind of how we define an atom as sodium. What's nice about the atomic number is it's equal to the number of protons. In fact, that's the definition of the atomic number. It's the number of protons. Sometimes the atomic number is called the proton number because it's the number of protons that we find in each element. So take a moment and think about this. What is the atomic number and the number of protons for oxygen? So we look at the number above the element symbol, above the O for oxygen, and we see 8. That's the atomic number, and it's the number of protons that we would find in the nucleus of an atom of oxygen. Another nice thing about the atomic number is it'll tell us the number of electrons that we have around an atom for neutral elements. In all of the elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. They don't have a negative or a positive written after them. So these are all neutral elements. So take a moment and look at iron. What's the atomic number, the number of protons, and the number of electrons for an atom of iron? Since we have the atomic number of 26, we'll have 26 protons, 26 electrons, and the atomic number is 26. So I've copied some blocks from different periodic tables here. Take a moment and figure out the atomic number, number of protons, and the number of electrons for each one of these elements here. Since the atomic number equals the number of protons, and then it equals the number of electrons for these neutral elements here, for copper, we have an atomic number of 29, 29 protons, and 29 electrons. Sometimes you'll see the number put up in the corner there. We know that the whole number, that's going to be the atomic number. So we have an atomic number of 6 for carbon, 6 protons, 6 electrons. Sodium, 11 for everything, iron, 26, and then for argon, we have a lot of different information here, but this number 18, the whole number 18, that's the atomic number. 18 protons, and since there's no negative or positive, argon's a neutral element, 18 electrons. If you're confused, just remember the atomic number, it's going to increase by 1 as we go across a row, also called a period, on the periodic table. This is Dr. B with how to find the atomic number for elements on the periodic table. Thanks for watching.